Katrina Dew welcoming you to Step Into the Valley with the Three Step Realty Group. We have recently talked to a lot of people who want to buy homes but have heard that there's a predicted recession coming so they've decided to stop or pause buying a home until the market crashes and what they want to do is come in and buy low which is a genius plan. That's why we're here today is we're going to talk about the predicted coming recession and what it means to the housing market. 42% of consumers today believe the recession is going to happen in the next 18 months. What about the professionals? Well, check it out. 59% of the Wall Street Journal economists believe that the recession is going to happen next year. 22% believe it's going to happen in 2021. Well, what exactly is a recession? A recession is when you have two consecutive quarters of a decline in the gross domestic product. The GDP is when we measure the monetary value of products or services over a period of time. So two quarters of it declining. Well, I recently connected with some people that I believe are smarter than me when it comes to our economy. And they shared with me that right now we are in the longest run of economic recovery in American history. And logic tells us that whenever you're in the longest run of anything, it must eventually come to an end. In 2003, 2004, the New England Patriots won 21 consecutive games in a row in professional football. Well, what about local? How about De La Salle High School football? Anybody heard of them? They won 151 games in a row consecutive. Okay, baseball. In 1916, the New York Giants won 26 games in a row. Now, all three of those had a long stretch of a winning streak. Also, all three eventually came to an end. So today, in our economic recovery, must eventually come to an end, or an economic slowdown, or a recession. Economic slowdown, recession, does not necessarily mean a housing crash. Now, a housing crash is one possible event that could cause a recession. Well, check it out. In 2008, here's all the recessions we had in the last five, right? In 2008, we had the mortgage meltdown, which started our housing crash, which created the recession in 2008. We'll take a look at 2001. We had a recession in 2001. The stock market, price, uh, stock market dropped 25%, but the home values increased 6.6%. You know, another thing to take into consideration or take a look at is the same people that predicted the recession, the possible recession in the next four or five years, also predicted housing prices to increase in the next four or five years. Take a look at next year, 2020. Nationally, they predict the housing market to appreciate, home prices to appreciate 2.8%. Now, yeah, that is a little bit lower than our average national over history, but it's still going up. So what we're most likely gonna see in this recession for our housing market is we're gonna see a slowdown in appreciation not necessarily a depreciation. And you know, this could also differ depending on the neighborhood you either live in or wanna buy in. So if you are living in or you wanna buy in a neighborhood with a high, high-end neighborhood with a high, high value, you're most likely going to see the biggest appreciation slowdown. Now, if you're in a neighborhood, a first-time home buyer neighborhood or a starter neighborhood, you may not see that slowdown in appreciation at all. It's all gonna depend on where you're looking. You know, give us a call or give your local realtor professional a call if you have questions about where you live or where you wanna buy. Call the number below. We're always here to help you or answer questions. In fact, keep your eyes on Step Into the Valley because we're gonna keep our eyes on what's happening with the recession, especially when we have in November, what's in November? Elections. So. Stay tuned with us. When we learn more info, we're going to share it with you. See you soon.